Well, good morning, guys. It's Pastor Andy. Today is August the 5th, and we're looking together in Psalm chapter 127. Psalm 127 is a psalm that was attributed to Solomon, and he wrote this psalm giving us the theme of we need God's blessing. And how true that is, we need God's blessing in our lives and on all the things that we do today. Let's look at Psalm 127 together. Unless the Lord builds a house, the work of the builders is wasted. We can spend all the time building our our life, our house, so to speak, putting bricks together and all of these things, but you know, all of the work that we do can be destroyed so quickly. Have you ever watched a wrecking company come in and take a building down? I mean, what can take years to build can be taken down in a matter of days. And it's unbelievable how fast things can be torn apart. And that's because we're building it with materials here on this earth. And we're not building a spiritual foundation. When we're talking about spiritually, we need to build on the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the solid foundation that we have. And this verse says, unless the Lord is the one who builds the house, the work of the builders is wasted. While it's important to have a structure for our families to live in, some place for us to lay our heads at night, it's more important that we have a spiritual house, a spiritual foundation for our family. He goes on and says, unless the Lord protects a city, uh, guarding it with centuries will do no good. You know, centuries can fall asleep. Back in Bible days, they would have guards who would stand up, watchmen they called them, on the, the walls watching for enemies who would be coming to attack. And these were the watchmen. They would make sure that this the, the city was safe, that there was no approaching army, all of these things. But as humans, we can fall asleep. And we need God. We It says right here, uh, unless the Lord protects the city, guarding it with centuries will do no good. God is the one who has to keep them awake, so to speak. Uh, but we need God to be protecting and guarding our lives and our families as well. So we can't get overconfident that we have done anything because everything that we do can be undone. We need God's help. We need God's blessing on our families and on our homes. He goes on in verse two, says, it's useless for you to work so hard from early morning until late at night, anxiously working for food to eat, for God gives rest to his loved ones. Now, it's not talking and saying that we should not get up and we should not get up early and go out and work. The Bible says if a man doesn't work, he shouldn't eat. We've got to take care of our families. We have to do that. But what it's warning against here is overworking. I have a tendency to be an overworker. I put in too many hours at times. And that can be a detriment to my family. And I have to guard against that in my life, knowing that I need to do what I need to do and God will take care of the rest. I can't do what God can do. I need to do my part and allow him to do his part. I need his blessing on my work. He goes down in verse three and talks about conserving. He says, children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward for him, a reward from him. Man, how awesome is that? Here we've talked about God protecting our home. God's the one who we build our foundation on. He tells us not to overwork because you know what? We can get tired when we overwork. And I have a tendency to be tired at times because of that. And we can get tired doing God's work. We can get tired in God's work, but we should never get tired of God's work. And there's a big difference. We need to keep serving him. But then he finishes this chapter with this idea of children. They're a gift from the Lord. They're a reward from him. Children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's hands. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them. He will not be put to shame when he confronts his accusers at the city gates. Man, children are a gift from the Lord. And it's up to God how many children we have, and it's up to Him uh, what happens with our families and all of those things. But He says here that it's a blessing. We shouldn't look at our kids as something what we have to find a babysitter for now, or they're just a burden, or they cost too much money, or this or that or the other, or whatever. Children are a blessing from God. And it's our job as parents to hand down to the next generation God's Word and what God says, and teach them in the way that they should go. So that, as the scripture says, when they grow old, they'll not depart from it. They'll come back to God, even if they do get away from him, and they will walk in the way that we have trained them and we have shown them from God's word. So we should enjoy our children. We should spend time with them. Keep our family our priority because family, our family is our first ministry. We we are all, as men, we're all pastors of our home and we need to pastor our home well and lead our homes well. I hope you'll get into God's Word, see what He has for you. And until tomorrow, God bless you and have a great day.